sum of interior angles of polygons. Polygon is a closed shape with straight sides. So here's one, and this is a triangle. And if we want to find the sum of the angles, we measure the angles, and we see that there are three of them at 60 degrees. So 3 times 60 is 180 degrees. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. We can prove this also with the formula S equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2. So S stands for sum equals 180 times the quantity n. n is the number of sides minus 2. So the sum equals 180 times the quantity 3, because that's the number of sides, minus 2. Then we follow our order of operations, so that 180 times 1, because 3 minus 2 is 1, and we find out that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, which is what we got when we measured. So the three angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. If we look at a quadrilateral, in this case a square, it's got four sides and four angles, and those four angles are all right angles. So if we want to find what the total sum is of all four angles, we say 90 times 4 is 360 degrees. So the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. We can also prove this with our formula S equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2. This time, the n is going to be 4 because there's 4 sides. Then we follow our order of operations. S equals 180 times 2. And 180 times 2 is 360 degrees, just like what we got when we measured. So the four angles in a quadrilateral add to 360. A five-sided polygon is a pentagon. They have five sides and five interior angles. What do all five of the interior angles add up to? We can use our formula. S equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2. So S equals 180 times the quantity 5, because that's how many sides there are, minus 2. Order of operation says do the 5 minus 2 next, so we got 180 times 3. So the final answer, the angles of a pentagon all add up to 540 degrees. Here's one for you to try. What is the sum of all the angles in a decagon? The end.